I'd like everybody to pause in what you're doing for a moment to take a look at the board and notice the comment that I have made here. Hanging indentation requires that the second and all subsequent lines be indented. Hanging indentation is kind of like reverse indentation. Usually you tab the first line and then all other lines are not. Could somebody guess why? In a works cited page, why do we want that reversed? Why do we want the first line pulled out? About what? Uh, you're on the right track, Monster, saying there's no confusion, in other words, to make this easier to do something. What does it make it easier to do? Look at my page. What is it easier to do? Tell which, uh, entry is which entry. Tell which entry is which entry, because what do you want to see primarily? The first piece of information. First of all, because it's alphabetically ordered, and you want to see that first letter so you know how to alphabetize it. Secondly, in my in-text citations, up in the paragraphs, I'm going to use the first piece of information. That's what I need to see, is the first piece of information. So hanging indentation makes works cited pages work. If it is not hanging indented, it's a mess. Do not use bullets. Do not use numbers. Only use hanging indentation. Now, in Microsoft Word, it's super simple because it's simple click, and you can turn it on. Um, this is one of the very rare occurrences where I miss Word, because Google Drive does not do it quite as well. But still, let me show you how to do it in Drive. Okay, we'll take a look at Max's. And I'd like you to follow these instructions because I'll show you how to hanging indent yours. If you have three entries on there and you say, oh, I only have three, hanging indent them and then press return and it'll carry the hanging indentation over for the others too. Okay. I want to look at the works cited page. First of all, Max, could you eliminate the extra spaces between entries, please? Now, if you look at his page, it's really difficult to read because all the entries are just kind of lined up there. The hanging indentation is absolutely necessary. So here's what we do. We only want to hang indent this. So we select it. Select everything you've got there. And then I'm going to do this on the mouse because SmartBoard's not precise enough. You see up here in the toolbar, you have a rectangle and a triangle. Left indent, first line indent. Pull all of it, or pull, let's see. Pull the triangle over to the half inch mark, and then the rectangle back to zero. And then it's done. And it's done for everything that you just selected. So let me remind you of how that happened in case you're trying it and it's not working quite well. Sorry, my computer's slowing down. Come on. Only select your entries. Don't select the work cited title. Only select your entries right there. And when you start, you'll have it like this. Grab at the triangle, pull it over to here, grab the rectangle, pull it back over. And then you're done. It's hanging indented. And if I were to press enter right here, and I were to type, see how it keeps the hanging indentation going? but it won't infect any of the rest of your paper because all I did was select what's in here. And that's how you accomplish hanging indentation.
So it's not bad. Um, I don't like to grab the ruler up there and manipulate. I prefer automized formatting, but um, it still works.